Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Zombie Gaming here again. Welcome back to Hexit, where last time we left off, right about to fight the Hydra, but I had a couple things that I want to do first. So, um, I actually don't think we can do it. Let me check. Uh, let me check my other backpack. Uh, yes, we can do it, definitely. Um, Akafendi. So I'm just seeing our uh, our options here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an anvil, and I'm gonna repair some stuff, some of our diamond stuff. Naga scale we just got, so that's uh that's not really gonna matter. Uh, oh, two levels. Did you repair that fully. Awesome. Two levels. I'll just I'm not repairing these all the way full because that's not really gonna help. Uh, with the helmet there. Uh, so we got those. And then I wanted to repair the diamond giant sword. We don't... Yeah, as I was saying... Six. Um, as I was saying, we don't have an enchantment table yet, so I don't think it's going to be worth it to us to... Oh. Uh, to... Uh, like, it's not going to be worth it to us to use these levels for anything else but repair our stuff as of right now. But now we can make our first hexagonal diamond boom and boom nice so we're gonna actually throw that uh... this stuff in here i don't think we'll need anything else uh, so let's put these back in the bag i uh, got some food and stuff but uh... deflecting the not or deflecting the hydra's bombs with the ender giant sword can like crash your game supposedly so basically what we gotta do to beat this thing is uh, oh, and if we died, sorry uh, for all the delays. If we died, I set a warp point like right about here, which is warp Hydra, so we don't have to make the long trek back. So what we have to do to beat it is basically get under its stomach and just wail at it. Um, it is immune to bow damage, so the Legia bow isn't going to do us much good. But if we can get a good angle on it, just like march up right up to its uh, to its place like to the front of its den, then uh, we can take it on. So I'm just going to get... Oh, hey, wait. These are bighorn sheep. Is it, Does it have the same rarity as of spawning a... Uh, I think bighorn sheep is a sheep, because that's very rare. <laughs> Aside from that. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to get to the front. We're going to see what we're... what Basically what we're dealing with, because uh, I've heard this is one of the tougher bosses. Uh, it's like not super tough, but it's, uh, it's one of the bigger ones you can see. Uh, like, if you're spawning it in creative, it has to have a 30 by 30 cube of air around it, because it doesn't suffocate. So there it is. So apparently beating this is really worth it. So uh, to get it, I'm just going to look on the wiki here. Uh, when you beat it, you get um, a bunch of the minerals that you find in there. So, wow, goodness, this is so laggy when I'm right up next to the Hydra. Whew, look at him. Uh, you get all the minerals in there, which I might see some diamond over there. Uh, but you also get Hydra Chops, which are like... Uh, get off of full screen for this battle. Sorry if you guys uh, like me being on full screen, I do too. So, what we gotta do is uh, just basically uh, get under him, hit his stomach, and we'll be good to go. So I think, does he still think I'm over there? Because he's just, does he see me yet? Uh, and so yeah, once we, if we hit a head off, that's not going to do us much good, because it just deals more. So we just got to aim for his stomach right there. Here we go! Oh, Hydra fight time! Bring it, man! Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it! Oh gosh, ooh, oh, we are wailing on him. Actually, no, we're actually not doing that much damage to him, but he's not getting us, so... That's doing like one damage each. Holy crap, that's not that powerful. He must have like some tough armor. He's almost getting me. Oh, this is. Oh, this is intense. Is he regening at all? No, he's not. Alright. So we can just. Oh, yeah, we can just wail on him from right here. Ooh. This is actually. This isn't bad. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. No new heads are popping up, so I think. I think we're good there, so. As long as we don't hit his heads. Ouch. That does actually some damage, so I gotta be careful of that. I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. Don't please oh gosh, this is so risky. 
just kill him. I'm just gonna kill you, Hydra, okay? I hope, I hope you don't mind. Hopefully this, uh, this sound isn't too loud for you guys. Just him screaming. Pain as I kill you. You die. Oh my gosh, this is so tedious. Holy crap. Ouch. Yup, jumping is not good because then you can, like, get me, so... I really hope he doesn't regen, because if, like, if we die... See, like, whoa, whoa. I'm on, like... I'm on, like, half health. Because if he regens, that's gonna be a pain, and this is just gonna be tedious. But we're getting him he's down below half health. Half health. But he can't stop spinning around. Oh, it's annoying. He sounds kind of like a dog, to be honest. He sounds like he's barking. Okay, this is, this is, holy crap, this is dealing so much damage, or this is, like, dealing, like, this is getting rid of so much durability on my sword. Oh my gosh, we die, we die. Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, screw it. I'm using the Ender Giant Sword. Oh, gosh. It's doing the same thing, but I don't want to completely ruin my Ender Giant Sword again. So, just bring it, man. Just bring it. And some item. I know I shouldn't be talking about this while we're in a, in a boss fight. But some item we want to get is, like, the Salamander's Eye, I think. Because it, like, deflects gas balls and stuff when you hold it. So, it's really quite cool. It's going to be useful to have. But, holy crap, this is tedious. Oh, my gosh. So tedious, but yeah, the lag is a lot better when I'm not in full screen for this battle, so it's gonna stay that way. My Ender Giant Sword is just taking a beating. Alright, well, he's below 100. We got this, guys. He has more health than the Naga and or Ender Dragon, so that's good. Alright, alright, we get him. Oh, oh no, 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 you don't. You don't, little boy. You don't kill me. You're not gonna kill me. I will prevail in this battle, sir. Just gotta stay under your belly. Stay under your little belly in this really awkward position. And just, just kill you from here. You know, it's casual stuff. Just killing hydras every day. Since it's not, it's not bad. Um, but this battle will be super long because each head has a thousand health. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're out in the open. Five. Four, three, two, we're done! Boom! Just got freaking done. Awesome. Now give me your stuff. Oh yes, awesome. So we got 30 Hydra Chops. Amazing, that's so good. Oh, we got the Hydra Trophy, Fiery Blood, and Emerald Shard. Nice work, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We beat the Hydra, which actually wasn't that hard, but it was tedious. And look at that Ender Giant Sword just took a beating. So let's uh, repair the Diamond Giant Sword at least. Oh, um, don't have any diamonds. All this backpack stuff. Uh, I'm guessing I'll only need like two or so. So that should be all right. And okay, no, we only need a seven, man. <laughs> Dang it. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. So, that's awesome. That was a great boss fight, guys. Now, um, not gonna end the episode off quite yet, but that's basically all I wanted to get done. What's this? I don't know if that damages me or not. Whoa, is this like wood? Whoa! Is all of his stuff under his, uh, under his base, like, lava? No, I guess it just spawned weird. But I think we are in a swamp land, but fire swamp, that's pretty sick. Um, so let's go slash... Can we do slash home from here? Oh, okay, so this... Oh, <laughs> Schwarp portal? There we go. Alright. So, I bet I was right next to the portal when I did home, because that's, like, the exact location of my house. Oh, and we already had an anvil, so let's just... That one on top. And now we have the Hydra Trophy to go up on our wall, which looks pretty dang sick, if I do say so myself. Um, Fiery Blood, let's look up. Here, let me get into full... And we're in full screen. Fiery Blood. What do you... Uh, with an Iron Ingot to make a Fiery Ingot. And you can make armor with this. Cool. What does Fiery Aura do? Uh, auto Smelting, that's one thing I did see, is the Fiery Pickaxe. Uh, that's blaze rods, though. I don't know if I can make that. 
You might want to invest in the armor, though. Uh, let me get some iron ingots. Or we could just conveniently right-click on the furnace. And find uh, some iron ingots in there. Uh, so let's just put all this in here and get nine fiery ingots. Uh, I believe lots of bosses drop those, so we shouldn't be at a loss there. Um, what would we need? What What do we want to make? We could make uh, boots and a helmet. Uh, you know, I might as well do that. Or we could make a chest plate, but we have the Naga scale, <laughs> which I really don't know how to repair, and I'm going to need to. Uh, so hopefully we find some place on the enchantment table or make one soon. Uh, we might not. Do we have any obsidian? We could. If we do, then we can make an enchantment table. But I'm kind of spending lots of time here at home. Uh, well, we have some zombie heads. You know what that's good for. It's to put on our house because it's zombie gaming's house. <laughs> All right. But let's just put these back up there. I think it's the blue one that we're filling up right now. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, mm, so we don't need that food. The hydro shops are going to be very good. Don't need all that. Uh, I'll keep the backpacks up there. Ender giant sword. Yeah, we're going to need to repair lots of our stuff soon. But what fiery uh, piece of armor do we want to make? You know, I might just make a uh, helmet and boots. Uh, and does that change anything? Oh, that's better. Oh, wow. And look at me. Look at me today. Whoops, I accidentally took a screenshot, but I guess that's kind of, guess that's kind of good. So keep these in here, just because we're probably going to be using them in the future. Uh, but let's go on into the Twilight Forest. Uh, we're going to slash warp Hydra, and this is uh, the warp point, which was right behind his little cave there. Uh, but what? Yeah, I can't check the durability on those. I'll have to look up what Fiery Aura does, but let me check our time. Can't really do that because it like stops the recording briefly right as I go in and out of full screen. I don't really, I don't really get that, but it does that. Uh, but let's keep going because what are those waypoints? Oh, or did I set those? Oh, those are whoa. This is like the Twilight Forest version of of the Overworld. I don't see anything good except this. Up here, right in the center of the screen, could be another Hydra, but we just fought one of those. So let's go... This way. Past this. Past the Hydra. Uh, but this was really awesome. Yeah, I also almost forgot to check the, the loot in here. See if there's any good minerals. There's lots of gold. Uh, lapis. Iron. Stuff like that. Um, We can come back here if we need it, because... Oh! Never mind, I see some diamonds. Uh, but for everything else, we can come back here for... Awesome, we got ourselves some more diamonds. Which equals more levels. And yeah, this place was awesome. We beat him. I think that was a, that was a pretty fun boss fight. But it's basically just spamming him, so... Uh, but we go, let's go behind his little base. Whoa. Chunks are loading. Sorry about that, guys. Can't really help it, but, you know, let's hex it. It's worth it. Um, but we're going to keep heading s Is this south? I have a oh, man, I knew it was south. Nice, nice. I thought it was south. Heading south towards unknown lands that we have yet to see. We're still in this fiery swamp, which is kind of cool. I do enjoy it. I hear bugs. The soothing market. What's that? Oh, that's just a bird. So yeah, that's pre oh whoa whoa. This is a pretty sick looking cave. You're evil. I hate you. Never going in one of those. Well, maybe, maybe later on in the series we'll do that. Is that a hostile wolf? No, that's just one. Oh gosh, what the holy crap! I guess that's uh, like those fiery geysers in the fiery swamp. That's kind of cool. But we're gonna keep heading this way. Next episode, we're going to be looking... I think there's one more... No, there's two more. There's the Minoshroom and the Yurgast. And I guess whichever one we we face first will be uh, the one that we fight next. So, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. are still freezing my screen. We beat the Hydro. Got some sick new armor. But, again, we are going to have to find a... Uh, 
an enchantment table soon. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hexit. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated. I'm Zombie Gaming MC. And I'll see you guys.